Houston, we don't have a problem. Today we're going to talk about the mathy part of uh, these conversation we've been having about electric potential energy, electric potential, and electric field problems. Remember, electric potential energy measures energy that's measured in joules. Electric potential measures things in volts. And electric field is a newton per coulomb. So what we've got is we've got these units, and ultimately there's a chart of all the different equations that you can see right here. We've got different measurements of things, also force. I didn't mention force. So there's all these different ways that we can measure electrical stuff, okay? And I think the key thing is, is let me zoom in. Here's kind of the key equations that we're going to be working with in the equation. But make sure you understand what units are what. And, and really the stuff, if you will, that we're going to be talking about at first are on the left side. So... Um, you can have electric field, right? So electric field is E, and E, actually let's start earlier. Let's start with F, electric force, and that's all, it all was based on this one thing. Uh, force is K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. That is, that is uh, Coulomb's law, but that leads to the electric field. Remember the field is how much a charge feels, it's like how steep the slope is. A field is like in gravity, the 9.8. And that's just KQ over R. But that's one way to write electric field. But you could also just say it's equal to F over Q. Right? So there's more. You can see that equation over here. It's also equal to V over D. So the electric field, there's lots of ways. Long story, I'm not going to go into the details, but you can manipulate basically Coulomb's law in different ways and get all these things out of it, right? So electric field can be anything. And then the electric potential, that's the volts. I didn't do um, electric potential energy. But the volts is a number of things. Um, but volts is the work. Um, I'll write work. Um, over the charge. So that's going to be a joule per coulomb is a volt. But you also have volt here. So if you can, you can also say, um, you know, if E equals V over D, I like to say this, I say V equals ed, right? Ved. Um, that's just rearranging the equation. And I can solve for voltage by multiplying the electric field by the distance between them. And so when you're doing these problems, you're going to have to like look at all these equations, and I know it's a lot, uh, and decide which one applies. Usually you're going to be giving some information and you're going to have to figure out what they are. Now, don't get distracted by some of these other equations. V equals IR. We haven't learned what I is yet. I is uh, current. Uh, R is something called resistance, and that has to do with more current electricity. Other things you're going to have to know, though, too, when you're doing these problems is Remember, Q is the measure of the coulombs, but if I have one electron, it has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 uh, coulombs. That's per one electron, or actually one proton, too. Electron would have a positive charge, and electron would have a negative charge. And then also very, 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 very commonly in the problems that you're going to see, you're going to see something like picocoulombs or nanovolts, or something like that, and you need to know what each of these symbols mean. You can make micro something, micro coulombs, or something like that. So you see pico, nano, and then sometimes you even see kilo volts. Now, remember, pico is 10 to the minus 12th. It's a trillionth. Nano is 10 to the minus 9th. Micro is 10 to the minus 6th. Actually, let's do one. Milli coulombs. For example, it would be 10 to the minus third. You see pattern 12, 9, 6, 3. And kilo is actually 10 to the third. You'll often see these prefixes when you're doing problems. So I might say, hey, given that you've got, you know, 220 nanocoulombs um, and you're solving for electric field, um, oh, and K, what's K? K is the constant, right? And K is 9 times 10 to the ninth. So you've got these different variables and you're plugging them into a calculator and solving the problem when it all comes down to it. Um, I don't think it's that important that I go through and do each type of problem. You're going to be utilizing these equations, these equations, and also making sure you're doing conversions well to solve these problems. Um, but remember, it really comes down to, remember we said in the last video, I have a, an electron here, 
and I've got maybe an electron here, and as I push it this way, I have to do work because they're opposing each other. And, or if I, if I have one's positive and negative, I pull it away, I have to do work to strip it away from it. And that's what causes electric energy. And this, I mean, we're, uh, I'm doing a video that's all powered by electrons who are moving across a potential, which cause you to watch this video. So um, yeah, use the equations, plug them in, and I think you're going to be fine. Hey, Houston, we don't have a problem. We'll see you in class.